7.45 in the morning and the light is starting to come out and we're going to run this wall unit air conditioner as long as we can off of a few batteries and these two solar panels. These are the two Trina 310 watt solar panels and we want to see what the longevity is on how long this unit can run. There's a lot of videos out there saying it can run a long time so today we're going to put it to the test. We're going to simulate what it's like if we had a power outage so I'm going to turn off our uh, central air during this test. The weather looks like it's going to be good today and they said in the forecast that we have a 0% chance of rain today. So today is a really good test to see how long we can let that unit run. We have our four 100 amp hour batteries and I'm going to plug the wall unit AC into the 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. We have the 5 farad capacitor installed that helped with the surges of the cycling of the wall unit. Every time the compressor would kick on it would put a really big uh, bog on the on the inverter as the inverter couldn't get enough juice out. So the the capacitor should help get a lot of power to the inverter during those surges because a, a capacitor can charge and discharge uh, much faster than a battery. So let's uh, check the specs on the, the unit. So we got 12.9 volts. The sun's starting to come out. A little bit of power is going to the solar panels. So let's get the AC plugged in. Okay, it looks like the sunlight is just starting to hit the panels. So let's turn on the air condition. Uh, we're going to start it with it uh, on low for now, and then I'll put this fan speed on high. All right, let's go check and see how many watts this is taking right now without the compressor running. Okay, so it's just taking over 50 watts to run the fan on the air conditioner, and we still got plenty of juice in the battery bank. All right, let me go turn it up so it turns on the compressor and gets a little bit colder. All right, let's put this baby on cold. Yeah, when the compressor kicked on, it didn't have that big uh, bogging sound like it did before, ever since I put the um, capacitor in there. Now let's go see how many watts it's taken. Okay, so the power sagged a little bit on the voltage on the battery bank. Uh, we're not even using 400 watts yet. It looks like it's steadily climbing. Um, okay, so 12.5 volts and steady. Now, let's see, we're starting this at uh, almost 5 to 8 in the morning. And let's see how long we can run this until the inverter conks out or we hear an alarm from low voltage or some kind of issue with an overload. Let's see how we can uh, test this theory out. Okay, the air condition has been running for over an hour now. It's uh, now almost uh, 9.25 or so in the morning, and we started this thing at uh, almost 10 to 8. The uh, fan came on, the Samlex, briefly. Uh, the unit is really not, just a little bit warm slightly, not so bad. But the air condition is still cranking along in the room with no problem, and the, uh, the room is pretty cool and comfortable. It's definitely not hot at all, and we have plenty of juice left in the uh, battery bank to keep this thing going so no alarms have come on so let's see how long it keeps going still wow it's now 10 o'clock in the morning and the batteries are at 13 volts and uh, it was getting cold in here so I turned it down just a little bit it's plenty cool very comfortable in the room the sun's out and it does look like we can run this thing the entire day with no problem with only two solar panels that's uh, looking pretty good but let's keep it going look it just the compressor just kicked on wow it sounds great with that capacitor added it sounds just like it was plugged into the wall but it's not if you look at the cord it's still plugged into my uh, extension cord okay it's just now after 11 o'clock in the morning and the batteries are still holding up fine at 12.5 volts. You know, the AC is cranking, still sucking all that power out. Uh, I forgot to also mention, 
that on that same inverter, I also power my light off of it, and also I run my wireless HP printer, and that stays on 24 hours. So the printer is always having a slight draw, plus I have the air conditioner running. So the batteries are still holding up, and the inverter isn't overheating or overloading, so let's keep on testing it. Okay, it's after 12. Air conditioning is still running strong. Oh, the fan just kicked on to the uh, inverter. I don't know if you can hear it. If you watched other videos, this one is really not as loud as some of the inverters I've heard on other people's YouTube channels. So I'm really glad I got this unit instead of the ones I've seen in other people's videos. So uh, I'm, I'll put a link in the in the comment section or the uh, the description section below where you can get this thing. But I can tell you on the um, on the charge controller, if you put your hand and feel those cooling pins back there, they are pretty hot to the touch. So that probably needs a temperature sensitive uh, cooling fan to be added to it which I've seen another video where a guy complained that he burned both of his up and he had cooling shrouds here on the front that he had custom made. So that is probably something I'm going to have to consider putting on if I'm going to run the air conditioning on this thing on a regular basis. Okay, it's 103 and the battery's down to 12.3 volts and that AC is cranking out some power. Oh, fan just went on again and that charge controller is still hot sort of too painful to touch and that's where a lot of people who run these air conditions on uh, on solar panels and batteries don't tell you is that if you run it for a prolonged period of time is that the charge controller seems to run pretty hot all right let's see the actual temperature inside the room and outside all right I got one of these little temperature thermometer things from Amazon it tells you the outside temperature here which I have an outside sensor hanging to give the feedback to this unit but it's still 75 degrees inside and that's all running off of solar panels and batteries so that's not too bad I mean if we didn't have power because of a hurricane or some kind of storm or some kind of outage I wouldn't be uncomfortable during that time because I could still run my air conditioner and everybody else would be out of luck and having no power so uh, this is a nice backup. I don't have no generator. I don't got to fill no gas tank. And sometimes you go to start those things and they, they don't want to start. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted something that was solid state and quiet. And my inverter's quiet. It doesn't have loud fans. And so far this is working out pretty good. So let's keep checking on it every hour and see if uh, the batteries ever get completely depleted or if an alarm comes on the inverter and starts beeping where I have to shut down. And so far, after several hours, that has not happened yet. Wow, it's now 204. Still running the air conditioning on the solar panels, 12.9 volts. Wow. This is uh, not doing so bad. Oh, you can see the um, capacitor is lit up. This is very promising for anybody wanting to put a... Uh, off-grid solar system to run a small air conditioning in an RV or camping or any kind of other scenario or in my case this is going to be for an emergency scenario if a hurricane or any kind of bad storm comes and wipes our power out this is going to be my backup air conditioning system alright it's 3 o'clock and it's 93 degrees outside that air condition sucking some juice but look at the battery battery voltage it's uh, still pretty good okay it's after 5 o'clock we got 12.4 volts and that thing's still humming along in the other room cooling it down everything is still the same slightly warm to the touch that's not hot the, the fins inside this are still hot like they've been all day but yep we've been running air condition from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon without stop so let's see how long this sucker will go Wow, now we're finally starting to see a sag in the voltage down to 12.2. The sun's starting to go down a little bit. And um, I think the only way I'm going to get this thing to go even longer is I'm going to have to go and shut down the, uh, the thermostat to not make the compressor kick on and off so much. Okay, it's now after 7 o'clock. The air conditioning's been running since about 10 minutes till 8 in the morning. 
703. Wow, I cannot believe it's still running after all these hours. We're getting close to 12 hours for that air condition running. And we still have voltage left in the battery. Man, I wonder how long it's going to be until that thing starts beeping from the low power. Wow, it's been over 12 hours running the air conditioner on the two on the four batteries and the two solar panels and it's still running hey it's nine o'clock at night we're down to 12 volts on the battery system the air conditioning's still running since eight before eight o'clock this morning so now it's been uh going for 13 hours straight non-stop and the inverter hasn't shut down it hasn't overloaded Oh, well, I've even had to turn the air conditioning down a little bit because it was too cold. So let me show you where it's at now. Right, this fan helped distribute the cold air to the room more evenly. As you can see, I turned the thermostat down. It wasn't full blast cold, but I did turn it uh, down to make the room comfortable. So it's 13 hours straight, and I'm very comfortable with the way it's going, and the central air hasn't had any influence because I shut it off all day. Well, it's 10 o'clock at night, and the air conditioner has been running all day since 8 o'clock this morning. We have 12 volts left in the battery bank. That's not too bad. Okay, it's 11.02. Still pulling out juice. We're down to 11.9 volts still. Well, 11.06. Looks like I spoke too soon. The uh, inverter cut off, and you can't see it in the dark. Uh, but the Samlex is shut off automatically. Oh, at 11.9 volts. It doesn't let it go down too far. Well, I guess that's it.